City leaders say they can't afford to wait to fight the heroin epidemic, so they've come up with a 60-day plan to get something going. How do we educate people? What do we do for prevention? What do we do for intervention? And what do we do for counseling? Action items offered by the Manchester Chiefs of Police and Fire and the Health Department Director include reducing the amount of heroin and opioid prescriptions by supporting police, working with doctors and hospitals, and implementing drug drop boxes. Working to save the lives of those who overdose and get them into treatment. Yeah, I sent a letter to the governor um, that I would hope that she would declare this a state of emergency, that she and the commissioner of HHS, Nick Tumpus, can work something out to get a drug court started. Doing that as they address the long term solutions to a lack of in and outpatient treatment. Short term? We're looking at some different options, whether it's recovery coaches, whether it's doing a follow-up visit with someone after they overdose, uh, but we just don't have that system in place where we can get someone into treatment right away. And they're focusing on educating students and parents. We want to be able to get into the school system right at the beginning of the school year, get information at all levels, elementary, middle school, and high school. We want to get information out to parents. They'll also map their current assets to develop a continuum of care for prevention, intervention, treatment, and recovery. The chiefs and the health director will report back on the progress in their action plans in 60 days. They know they can't solve the problem in that amount of time, but they call it a good start. In Manchester, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.